bra point of view. I didn't know how long I had slept, but when I opened my eyes, darkness is already beginning to flood the room. I stretched on the bed and yawned before peering at the window, and I saw that the sun had already set, meaning, it's already night time. I began to wonder how many hours have I been sleeping, and why Goku hasn't woken me up to wash the dishes even if I told him to do so. Maybe he saw how pale I looked and how I badly wanted to rest. I don't know. I got up and smoothed the part of the bed where I had laid on. The house was very quiet, and I couldn't hear anything downstairs. Maybe Goku had left to go training again. He always does that, leaving after lunch to go on another round of training. That gives me time to prepare his dinner, because he usually goes home at around 6 or 7 in the evening. However, since I overslept, I didn't have much time to prepare dinner until he comes back. I hurriedly went to the kitchen to start with my work. As I started dicing vegetables while tendering the meat, I noticed that the kitchen table is clean. Every dish that Goku had used earlier had been washed, and they were all placed back inside the glass cabinet for plates and utensils. I couldn't help but smile at the thought that Goku didn't wake me up anymore to wash them earlier. And he just washed them all by himself. My husband must care for me too. I shook my head and brushed the thoughts away. Goku cares for me? No. Maybe he just saw how sick I looked earlier that's why he didn't wake me up anymore. It's an act of kindness, not care. The stew was almost ready when I heard a shuffling noise behind me. I knew Goku had already arrived. I turned around. Good thing I had already placed the fried rice and the other dishes on the table. At least he had something to eat while I finished cooking the stew. Oh you're there. I started as I pulled a chair for him to sit down. The stew is almost ready. Wait here and I'll get a towel so I could wipe your sweat. Your training must be very intense. I said as I walked away to find him a clean towel. I found one in the set of clean clothes for ironing. And I immediately went to him and wiped off his sweat. Then I started filling his plate with rice and some pork and vegetables. You can't eat them as we wait for the stew. I'm sorry. I overslept that's why I hadn't prepared dinner the soonest. I said. A little nervous. Goku hasn't said a word yet. This looks bad. When he's like this, something terrible is very likely to happen. Bula. He called out to me as I stirred the stew inside the cooking pot. Why yes. I answered. When you clean up here later, make it quick. Go to the room and take a bath as soon as you're done. He said. W what for? I asked. Of course I knew what for. He wanted something from me. Something that a husband wants from his wife. He frowned. Just do as I say. Do I need to explain everything to you? He asked harshly. I placed the pot of stew on the table. Carefully since it's very hot. No. I was just asking what foe. I don't need to go over everything word for word Bula. I am your husband now. And you will do whatever I say without asking questions. Is that clear? Goku asked. His voice slightly raising. I scooped up some stew and placed them on a bowl before I set the bowl in front of him. Why yes. I understand. I am sorry Goku. I said in a soft voice. I didn't want to anger him. I knew why he told me that. I knew what he wanted of course. I'm just playing innocent and pretending that I don't in hopes of having him tell it bluntly to me. And one more thing. I don't like you talking to other men from now on, be it personal or over the phone. And I don't want you going out or somewhere else without my permission. You are a married woman now, you should know where you stand. He said in a firm voice. That surprised me. Since we got married, I haven't talked to any of my friends or my suitors personally. On the phone, yes. But I haven't seen all of them since I started living with Goku. And when I do talk over the phone, I make sure to lower my voice even if I'm at the living room. And I usually do it when Goku is already asleep. Some of my suitors had already given up, but we remained friends. There are still some who would text me to ask me out on a date, but I never reply to them anymore, and I just ignore them. So how did Goku know that I still communicate with them? I do not even text or talk to someone in front of him. The incident earlier when gotten called was an exception, but that's only because Goku had arrived without me knowing. My eyes caught sight of my smartphone lying on the coffee table. I suddenly remembered that I left it there before I slept earlier. That's it. Goku must have checked my phone while I was asleep. Tomorrow, we will go to the city, and have your line changed. I will get you a new phone, and also a new postpaid plan. So they wouldn't be able to contact you anymore. You can give your number to only your parents, and your closest friends. Understand? He said once more. Why yes Goku. I answered. Goku didn't sound angry. But his voice was firm. I could sense something in him as he spoke. But I'm sure that it's definitely not anger. In fact, comma, I was expecting him to lash out at me and compare me to his ex-wife once more. That's because she she never talked with or entertained other men during the time they were married. Well, other men except Yamcha. But now, 
Goku is acting rather bizarre. He's not mad at me. It's more like he's becoming possessive of me. He finished his food in a while, and I started gathering the used dishes at once. Goku told me to make it quick, and I didn't want to keep him waiting for too long. He just looked at me as I started washing the plates and utensils before I heard his footsteps ascending the stairs. Soon I was left alone as I thought of what he had just said moments ago. Has he already changed? Is he beginning to accept me as his wife? I don't want to assume. My mother once told me that in order to avoid getting hurt, you should avoid assuming and expect nothing. Maybe Goku is really just like that when it comes to his wife. Maybe he also behaved that way when he and Shishi were still married. After all, it's natural for a husband to be possessive of his wife. And besides, Goku is getting famous because of the tournaments he had won. If people sees anyone close to him, particularly his wife, doing some monkey business, everyone would talk about him. In fact, comma, when he married me and when Shishi divorced him, the news was very quick to reach the media. Mom and dad only paid the reporters of different stations so that there would be a news blackout. As soon as I finished drying the last plate, I walked over to the living room to retrieve my phone before I walked towards the stairs. There were a few text messages from my friends, but a particular text message caught my attention. It was sent by an unknown number. Enjoy your life while you can, you little witch. If I were you, I'd be more cautious of my surroundings every time I go out. Your time is almost up. My heart raced as I read the text message. I tried calling the number, but it was already out of coverage. I looked at the time when the text was sent. 6.30 p.m. It was sent almost two hours ago. I wasn't able to notice it earlier because I had been busy preparing dinner for my husband. Who could have sent me that text message? I thought of Chi Chi. Is she back in the city? I thought she and Yansha went far, far away. In fact, comma, even her sons couldn't reach her. They tried calling her several times but to no avail. It had been months since I last heard of her. So who could this mysterious texter be? I contemplated on showing the message to Goku. I know I should let him read and see it but what if it's just nothing? I couldn't call the number anymore. And besides, Goku told me that I'll be changing my number tomorrow since he's going to have my lines and my phone changed. Maybe I should just shrug this off. I hurriedly climbed the stairs after I locked my phone. I entered our room and I saw Goku half naked lying on our bed. His hair is still wet, a proof that he had just showered a few moments ago. He was watching the television and he seemed to be waiting for me. I placed my phone on the bedside table and entered the bathroom so I could take a quick bath. I finished in 30 minutes and I started drying my body and my hair before I went out. Clad in only a piece of towel, I walked towards the cabinet to get something to wear. As I rummaged through our sleepwear, I noticed the negligees which my friends had given me as a gift during my wedding. I just kept them hidden since Goku had never touched me since he married me. Should I wear one of those now? I shook my head. I opted to wear one of Goku's old training shirts that he never uses anymore. His shirt felt good to wear especially during sleep. It looked like an oversized dress when I put it on but who cares. After all, it's already night time, and I am going to sleep. As soon as I finished brushing my hair, I went to my side of the bed, and lied down, my back turned towards Goku, he was still watching television, and he seemed really engrossed into it. I didn't want to be the one to initiate during sex, so I just closed my eyes as I waited for him to make his move. Moments later, I heard the television being shut off, and I felt Goku shift on the bed as he lied down and turned to face me. My back was still turned toward him, and I felt his arm wrapping around my waist as he inched closer to me, his crotch pressing against my butt. You smell good he whispered against my ear as his tongue brushed against the side of my neck, sending shivers down my spine. Chikaku, I whimpered as I turned to face him. He caught my lips at once in a searing and heated kiss, full of desire and passion. I automatically wrapped my arms around his muscled neck as I pulled him to me, my fingers playing with his thick hair as he deepened the kiss. I felt his weight shifting above me as he loomed over me now, towering my petite frame with his huge one. I ran my hands through his upper arms. I loved the way his muscles felt under my touch as we continued kissing torridly. I moaned against his lips as I wrapped my legs around his waist his crotch now grinding against mine. I shivered a bit when I felt something hard twitching against me. Instinctively, I lowered one of my arms so I could stroke his heated arousal. I felt him flinch as soon as my hand touched his straining bulge. Goku was very well end out, and as I wrapped my hand around his still clothed member, I thought of how thick it is, and if it could fit inside me, considering that it's been months since we had sex. What a silly thought. Of course it would fit inside me. I'm now pregnant. Goku already got me pregnant without him knowing it, 
There's no reason for me to worry about my body stretching and adjusting in order to accommodate him, because I had already accommodated him before. In the midst of our lovemaking, no, sexual act since Goku doesn't even love me back, I heard my phone ringing. I was determined to ignore it because Goku's touches were driving me almost to the brink of insanity, but it kept on ringing continuously. I heard Goku groan before he reached over me towards the bedside table and grabbed my phone. He slid on the screen and answered in a groggy voice. Hello, I just laid down there, his member still inside me, as I listened to his next words. Hello, he said once more, his voice louder as he started moving slowly inside me. W who is it? I asked in between labored breaths as I tightened my legs around his waist. Goku pulled the phone away from his ear and stared at it annoyingly. Nobody spoke, he answered as he thrust into me faster. I could feel his balls slapping against my pussy. He was about to put the phone back on the bedside table, but it vibrated once more, and this time, I heard the alert for text. Someone had sent me a message. Goku opened the message and read it. Enjoy your last moments with him, for this might be your loss. What is this? He almost screamed, startling me. W what is it? I asked. I noticed that he had stopped moving inside me. Now, Goku looked as if he was about to burst in anger. He was clenching his jaw, and the look in his eyes seemed as if he wanted to kill someone at that instant. Someone sent you a threat message, he said. His mood for sex totally lost now as he rolled over beside me. He browsed my other messages. They also texted you a while ago, and you have read it? They used a different number, but I'm sure they're the same people, he said. Then he looked at me. Why didn't you tell me about this? He demanded. I thought it was just someone who's trying to prank me. And besides, when I dialed the previous number, I couldn't reach the person anymore. So I just shrugged it off. I answered. Prank? Do you think this is just some prank? Whoever is behind this texted you twice, and even called you. They just used a different number. And still, you're thinking that this is just some silly prank? He asked angrily. I didn't know. I didn't answer the previous text so I thought whoever that person is, he or she would stop bothering me, because I didn't reply period. I told him, he was getting mad once more, and he's starting to scare me. Your life could be in danger, and you seem not to care about it. You should have told me about this earlier. What if something happens to you while I'm away? I do not even know that someone is already plotting against you. Do you want me to discover everything when something has already happened, or worse, when you're already dead, and there's nothing I can do anymore? He snarled furiously. S sorry Goku. I am so sorry. Please don't get cross. I'm sorry for not telling you about that earlier. I said, almost on the verge of crying. I really hated it when Goku raised his voice. He seemed to have noticed my fear. So he mellowed down. Tomorrow, we'll have your phone and your number changed. You're going to the city, but you're not leaving without me, he said with finality. I knew he is also in deep thought as to who could have sent me that text. I just nodded as I sank back into my pillows and pulled the sheets up to my neck.